Okay, let's talk about the background here. I have the Panic Room movie poster and Imsonia. Uh, so there's no nobody in the background watching. <laughs> So let's talk about Final Cut 10 and how I made my own template. So I don't have to set up every project every time because I use some keyword collections and smart collections every time. And uh, yeah, I was annoyed to do it every time. So basically I start with a new library here we go, new libra library. <laughs> and I save it to the movies folder here. All right. So what I mostly do is a keyword collection, music. So for that, the hashtags are so that this is on top of the list. And the next one is a smart collection. And that is path favorite. And I go for all rating. So and in this collection, all my favorites are listed. So I go through the footage, in, out, favorite, in, out, favorite. This is my select folder, so to speak. And the next one is also a smart collection and old school sequence. <laughs> so I put all my sequences in there, all my sequences, my projects basically show up. And since I use compound and projects, and I want to have both of those in this smart collection. I can select any type, a compound clip, and then next one type project. So there you go. And then maybe even keyword collection graphics, EFX. And also maybe keyword collection sound effects if I put in some external sounds and what I also quite often use I import that from my hard drive here um, I just drag and drop that from the finder and there are some light leaks in there that I use all the time and that's it so template project yeah and that's how it's done and now we can just copy this template to the client folder where the footage is, rename it and open it up and there you go, you have a setup template with keyword collections and smart collections and whatever you want to have in a template, so to speak. Anyways, that's it. See you in the next one. Tschüss, gute Nacht.